Hey, it's Peter Gregg, Miami, Florida. Welcome to Peter's Kitchen. You, Joey, Liam, Julian, Grant, Max, Sly, Scotty, Randy, and me, Peter Gregg, and you, everybody that's watching, go get a package of Oreo cookies, regular, normal Oreo cookies. We're gonna make a nuclear explosion and turn it into a chocolate cake right here in Peter's kitchen right now. Here we go. Sit back, relax. You are about to watch a Peter Gregg video. Something warm, human, and wonderful happens when you watch Peter Gregg. Okay, let's open up, open up the Oreo cookies. Oh, whoa, look at that. Let, wait, we gotta get a close-up. Oreo cookies are worth getting a close-up of. Where is the revolving camera? It's right, oh, there it is. Look at that chocolate chip cookies. Okay, so how many cookies we got in here, huh? How many? Let's open up the package. All right, we're gonna take this. This is gonna be really fast, so pay attention. We're gonna take all these cookies and put them in that thing right there it goes round and round and mixes things up. And every, all of the cookies except one, because it's going in here. <laughs> yes, that's true. All right, I'm gonna put the cover on. I'm gonna put this on very low speed. Okay, I'm using the, I call it the plunger. Here we go, we go, this is so exciting. We're gonna take a cup of milk, okay. Full cup, full cup, full cup, full cup, full cup, up, 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 spill right in there. And we're gonna get one, uh, one teaspoon of baking soda. Not baking powder, but baking soda. One teaspoon, well, it's kind of a heaping teaspoon. See it right there, what, there, it went in. <laughs> and then I'm going to take one tablespoon of lemon juice in. Okay, so now I'm going to turn this on again for just about a minute. Then I'm gonna shut it off. Now I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to scrape the sides. They stick to the sides a little bit. All right, so turn on your oven. Set it to 350. Preheat the oven. Guess who gets to lick the spoon? No, it's not Liam, it's Peter. Now this is a non-cooked spray. I'm going to spray all along the base, on the sides, where the seam is. Now I'm going to take the chocolate cake batter and I'm going to put it right in, right in there. I'm going to just pour it right in there. Come on, come on, come on. All of it, all of it. Get it all, all in there. Uh, let's, let's just make sure it's okay. <laughs> now we're gonna take, take the cake. I'm gonna take the cake, okay? I'm gonna put it in an oven, 350. I'm gonna start monitoring it at about 20 minutes. I want the internal temperature to be about 190 degrees. Then we're gonna bring it right back here. And now we come back in with a finished cake, which we're gonna put here to cool. Um, I'd say let it cool for 30 minutes before you start playing with it. Just for say, if you can let it go longer, let it go longer. <laughs> I've been smelling this cake all this time, but it's cooled so that I can actually open the spring form and lift it. Don't want anything to break off. Hello. Okay, so now I'll put the spring form over here where it needs to get washed and it's still warm on the bottom, so we want to let it get cooled off as much as possible. We have to make the frosting, okay? We're gonna use whole whipping cream, the whole full shebang, no light, nothing. Uh, and we're gonna use chocolate chips. So whatever you do on the whipping cream side, you gotta do equal on the chocolate chip side. So it's one to one. I brought the heavy cream to the point where it's steaming but not boiling. And I'm taking it off the fire because I don't want the chocolate to, to burn. 
So remember, it's a one-to-one. -one. one cup of this and one cup of that. So I put the chocolate in. It gets stuck in there. So now I'm just going to keep on stirring it. Okay, so now it's got that silky smooth look. It really does. I don't think you can see it. I'll try to get it a little closer to you, but I don't think you're going to be able to see it. I'm looking at the monitor to see what's happening. So when I pour this onto the cake, it is going to mostly stay put. I want it to run over the sides. Well, you'll see in a minute. You'll see, you'll see. We'll do it together. We'll do it together. Okay, I'm going to let this cool off. So now I'm going to do something I haven't done before. I'm going to use toothpicks, uh, dental floss, and a ruler, okay? And instead of trying to cut the cake like this, I have tried to cut the cake over and over and over across like ka <laughs> okay? It doesn't work for me. So I'm going to take toothpicks and I'm going to put them all around. And after I get them all the way around, I'm going to take a long piece of dental floss. I'm going to lay it on the toothpicks all the way around. And then I'm going to gently squeeze like an X, you know, uh, pattern. I'm going to like an X pattern like that. I'm going to gently squeeze the um, dental floss all the way through the cake and we'll see what happens and then we'll just uh, put the the chocolate ganache the chocolate frosting right on the cake ready to go Liam here we go next step I just got a wire rack which I have a clean one here you guys should have a wire rack and I'll get a dish out of here I'm going to put the dish under the wire rack and now that we have successfully cut the cake, okay, so here's the two halves of the cake. The dental floss did the trick. I was nervous, but it worked. Now we're gonna do the fun part. I'm going to start pouring the chocolate, which is cooled, not totally cooled. Okay, I'm gonna to try to pull it in the center. Pull, pull, pull. It's gonna to run towards the ends, as you can see. So now I'm going to take the other half of the cake and the top is not perfect, which is fine. You can see the top is rounded, okay, but it's a cake. In a cake, more. Okay, so I'm going to sit this on. I'm going to put a toothpick on this side and I'm going to put one on this side because it wants to slide. In some areas, it's going to pour over and it's going to kind of look like fancy. But you and I know the truth. <laughs> I don't have enough chocolate. There we go. That is the completed frosted cake. They're fighting with each other, and then I'm going to drag the cake over to the plate, gently withdraw the spatula, and then gently withdraw the other one, and I've got the cake over on the plate. All righty, the moment of truth. I just took the cake out of the refrigerator. I put it in there for 15 minutes to kind of harden up the the chocolate because I don't want it to slide off when I cut it. So now it comes the most important part. We're going to take a knife. We're going to take a chocolate take cake and we're going to cut it right now. So are you ready for the cutting? All right. I'm going to go right down here. Well, it's pretty soft. <laughs> so I don't know if that's a good thing or if that's a bad thing. I'm going to go right down there. I think it's, I cut it narrower than what this is. So let's go like this. Here we go. Let's put the cake on a plate. Let's go over to the regular cameras. And before I cut and dig into this and eat it, let me show you what it looks like, okay? I've got a, uh, another camera sitting here. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to turn this around. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Oh, my God. That's so moist. I can see it. I can see how moist it is. And now the cake. Let's get it so it's in the light. Let's get right in there. I want to see. Uh, there we go. Ah. And now we'll go this side. Ooh. So you guys that have been watching... 
you've seen that I've actually put cake, I mean the frosting in the layers. So we could see it here. Let's see how close I can get to this. Dang, if that don't look moist. Dang, okay, I'm getting the bottom of the cake. <laughs> You'd think I was a photographer or something, right? Let's get the top of the cake. Let's put that down. Let's wipe my fingers. Let's tap right there. That's the middle. Now we'll get the edge. I'm going to I'm going to show you all these pictures. I'm going to put them right up. There we go. Now, we're going to go we're going to go for the good stuff, okay? I want to taste this. Look at how nice the rise is. Oh, I got a crumb here. Can't let that go to waste. Okay, so I'm going to cut this cake. Fork goes right through. It's spongy. Yes, it's spongy. All of you guys that haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Those of you that are my subscribers, I L O V E U. Everybody that's watching, thank you for watching. Peter Gregg, Miami, Florida. Wish you have just watched another Peter Gregg video. Something warm, human, and wonderful happens when you watch Peter Gregg. Thank you for watching.